Welcome into the battle. Uh, you join me in a bit of a difficult situation. Um, the army that was besieging one of the settlements, uh, I think it was one of the Galatia settlements, uh, had reinforcements. It was stuck. It couldn't move because it had been harassed by uh, agents. And now this is what I've been left with. And I think it's it, the not only been sieging all, and the agent spam, it's kind of taken its toll on all these units. So I'm kind of a bit of a stuck of a, a difficult part here trying to figure out what's the best course of action because I'm going to have a lot of units trying to kill me. One of the main things I want to do is have archers just on this ridge. So I think this is a good defensive point. But there's some parts of it you can't really uh, stand on, which is a bit interesting. But if I can have the enemy charge up, I can get my archers on high ground um, and bombard them. Actually, it would probably be a good point to have them up on this ridge, maybe? We'll see. Um, I do have some horse archers, which can come in some use. So I want to have them potentially hidden around the back of here with some horses. And then we can come round and uh, if we can draw them in, I can come around the side and, and hit them quite hard. And I'm also going to do the same with my general, um, if possible. Might be more difficult though, because they're going to come from this direction, on this side. So it's just trying to hide my units so they're not in view. Like, my horses are not in view there, which is good. But I don't think I can hide my units where they wouldn't be in view. Actually, maybe down here. If I'm a general down there, I'd rather have him actually close by to secure the line, but... And then we'll bunch up these units up here. Because um, these are not... Well, I do have some cohorts, which are good. And they have auxiliary swordsmen. It's just that... It's not ideal. So let's get the auxiliary... So the spearmen are quite weak. So I'm just going to put them on the wings just to do some sort of defending. Oh, let's just have a look. Can I get them up on here? Because my issue is I can't actually back off this hill. Once I'm here. Wow. Can I actually even get on? Am I even supposed to be up here? There's a lot of ground which is not accessible. It's going to be a bit interesting. Like This path is... So I guess the idea is to bottle them in. Okay, there's the enemy army. And there is reinforcements. There's another full stack coming in. Um, and then some other reinforcements, as we'll see down here. But it's maybe to like deal with some each time. But these are all levies. And they do have skirmishers, but they have to get really close. So I'm hoping I can maybe do some damage with my archers before they get anywhere near me. And they also do have some camels. Which is a bit interesting. You don't see camels that often. Well, I haven't seen them much in-game. I've seen horses often enough. And there's all the units coming in. So we've got some more here. More camel archers. That's going to be quite fun. I'm hopefully want them running up hills going to exhaust them all out and my guys could just hold the hill because this is a really good defensive position. Ready for order. Time. And then I can bring my guys around to the flank. And then when they come up I can just come around and pelt them to death with uh, arrow fire. Use the cavalry to take out the skirmishers or maybe just one of the flanks. Or actually they're cavalry themselves. Or the general. Hmm. Let's move them across this way. Because I think my archers will have a decent range I think, on this hill. Not an amazing range, but good enough. Um, what range do they have? So they'll be able to pelt them from here. It might actually be worthwhile just to see if I can bring them forward a little bit more. Yeah, this is awkward here. Um, At the move out. Let's move these forward. We'll get the archers behind. And then we'll have these just behind them, just to push forward. 
gives me actually a bit more of a range to hit them with. I haven't spotted the horses yet. Some more cavalry. Oh god, it's mercenary spears. See if I don't get these guys spotted would be nice. Okay, so we are pelting them. Go on, get them. God, they are doing it. They're trying to go for a complete flank, aren't they? I just don't know. I don't think they've got any idea what they can do. So they're just like, oh, we'll run around. It's like, yeah, that's not going to be a good idea. Right, let's get the cavalry around. Right. Here we go. It's a pinning going in. Okay, so we managed to get them down. Gotta watch the spears because they're gonna be devastating, but if we can get these guys in to hit them, it'll work. Okay. Let's see if we can get these guys. I think these are just regular infantry, so we have to hit them. There we go. Get them in. We do are getting hit by skirmishers on this flank. Oh, slingers. Oh, God. Get out of there. We don't want to be hit with you guys. Right. Get out of there. Spearmen are coming in. How the hell did they get up there? Jeez, I'm just getting pelted to death. Oh god, get out of that. It's just the constant, there's just so much arrow fire and slings that it's making it difficult to do anything with. Get them down. Get them down. Even my archers got taken out. Wow, it's just so difficult to see right now. Let's get these guys to chase down. I didn't really want to go for this general. Let's get in that side. Right, get him. Hit him down. There we go. Chase them. Right, I think we're doing well with the general. These guys are just running away instantly. No, don't withdraw. Right, cavalry, get in and take them out. General's down. God, it's just ridiculous. Rally, guys, rally. Ping them, hit them. Where's my horses gone? Oh. Kind of getting pelted by everyone, aren't they? Get them down. There's still all these guys out this way. It's doing what we can, to be honest. 
So many. Oh, with my horse actually, my cavalry's done well. They managed to get them all to run. It's good. Right. Just cause as so much damage as you can. You go for them. Right, cool. We got these guys in. Oh, shoot. General. Let's get in there. Okay, these guys are backing off. These are hit from behind. They're going to back off as well. We're going to take so many casualties, though, in this place. Yeah, we're going to just be in a bit of a predicament here. Okay, these guys are done. Right. General, get out of there. Don't die. Got three units left. Right, let's see if we can get him backed with these guys, because at least these are quite strong. There we go. It should helpfully increase their, um... Alright, throw your javelins at them. There we go. Okay, we're back again. Such a blood fest. I think my general's dead. Hit him. Go, get him. Knock him down. Kill them all. There we go. Look at my spearmen just sitting in there, just defending. They're just holding their own. Come on, general. Win. Don't die. It's just you on your own. No, my general's dead. <laughs> Exhausted, but we're even in combat. Fight to the last man. Let's just speed this up a little bit more now. Yeah, they've still got a load of units just going to come in now and just obliterate me. Here we go. Oh, God, jeez, look at this. <laughs> it's like an absolute slaughter, and they're going to come around the back now as well. Yeah, there we go. And we're done. Close defeat. Ugh. Before I've had time to really adjust from the loss that we just suffered, I've got also this battle now in the, um, basically, Germany, southern Germany, um, against the Almeni. We managed to draw them out and they're going to come and attack me. Now the idea is they're going to come rushing in, overwhelming force, I can maybe use my cavalry to go around the sides and kill them quickly, but it depends how much they come out this way, because they are kind of running the wrong direction. I might see if I can just pull them more to the left. I can do that. So let's just run down this way a bit more. And the reason for that is I don't want them to reveal my cavalry. So they're all going to run, get in reposition. He might then go, oh, okay, they're moving this way. And there is a few reinforcements coming in from this behind, but they're not really that strong. I think these are just, yeah, the armored Germanic swordsmen, which are basically just the general unit. How are we doing? We're not too far away. The cavalry can come in and have a bit of a fun. We'll just have to rotate them round when they get here. So let's speed up a little bit. I don't know if they're going to sit and pelt me first or they're just going to rush it. Ah, they're going to rush in. Okay. 
So my armoured arches are going to deliver a nice blow. There we go. The fires commence. Enemy sir. Yeah, I can see that. It's just right there, the enemy. I really should focus on the archers, but then saying that if I can kind of hit these guys down a little bit, it'll help. Okay, here comes these guys. So let's move my archers into a better position to be behind. Go. So my pikemen on the right, they're going to basically hold the lines in case they decide to move to here. So let's move forward. And I've got my elite infantry just sat behind just in case. And then my cavalry can come out once I've engaged the forces. Okay, so... Just pelt the main hurlers. Okay, here comes the Germanic bands. They've got javelins of their own. But I've got better shields. Okay, so sent a few in. Yeah, you, you can try and take some pikemen on when they've got like 18 foot long spears. I don't think it's going to do very well for you. Now, they didn't engage all the units, so this is a bit frustrating. It means my archers are going to take a bit of damage. Let's turn my heavy units around to the right, because there's a little flanking manoeuvre coming in. Okay, here comes the cavalry units, so crash into them. Crash into them. Okay, so we pushed the initial wave back. We've now got the cavalry units coming out. Oh no, what are you doing? Get out of there! Bloody archers. Hit these guys. Ooh, no, 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 no. Get out of that, it's pikemen. Best way to defeat pikemen. <laughs> Hit them from all angles. Alright, I don't want to be sandwiching with these, so let's get these moved. Cataphracts, get out of there. There we go. Get the initial cavalry down. Okay, so they're down. Alright, get in there. No, get out of there. Let's run to the back of these guys to get trample on. Here we go. Ugh. That is just devastating. Let's get them out there. Focus on the hurlers. Oh, these guys are out. So are these. Right. Get them down. I need the cavalry to come round and slam into the back of the last ones that are still alive. I mean, this is pretty much it. Wiped out. Here we go. Coming in. Alright, Pikeman, get in there. Use your, your regular swords. He's going to be quite exhausted now, aren't they? There we go. Oh, poor guys. 
I don't really need the rest of them anymore now. Get him in. There we go. Done. Hmm. That was a bit of an awkward turn. We lost two armies. We've lost two settlements. We've been pushed back. We've also got this set of our army here. I'm going to have to recruit another army to make up for the army I've just lost, which is not good. Uh, this Palmyra has now been sieged by, so we might lose that settlement, and it means that this army might get cut off. So I'm trying to think, is it best idea to just pull back and try and defend and just regroup and then have another uh, assault um, in a little while after I've got my units. And I also can now finish off the last settlement here because the, well, we won the battle and it means we can move up um, and take them out. But I'm going to leave that for next session um, simply because of the fact of that, well, it's been a bit of time and I don't want to play too long and it gives us always something to come back for and win. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm working to the main objective, which is the Fank the Sun. Um, or praise the sun if you know that reference. Um, but we've got, uh, yeah, got to wait a long time to get to that because we've got to do this, then another eight turns to get that one, and then we can actually then think about building the temple. And I think is this almost built in here? No, this is going to need another two turns anyway. So I've got to wait three turns before I can start building the next level, and then I've got to wait for how many turns it's going to take that to get built in here. Um, yeah, it'll probably be about like seven or eight turns to build that and then it'll be like 12 turns to build the final version of that temple So I can see we're gonna be here for a little while longer yet um, But it does give time to try and once I've finished up in the northern areas I can pull all my armies down and try and focus on taking these guys out because assassins have still got quite a large amount of cities and The issue is at the moment I can't push any more This way because then I'm leaving a flank northern border open um, Which I do have two armies sat around which is good but I have to leave at least two armies defending this post area before anything else goes on. But I do have a really that can come down and maybe deal some damage um, from the side. But we'll have to see for next episode. All I'm going to say is thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you enjoy what you're seeing, then please, by all means, leave a like, comment down below, and share this video, and even subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next one, but until then, I'll see you later.